Basically, I'm going to be showing you how to rig a frigate with a slide trace. These are Kingfisher slide traces. Um, it's the standard. Okay. These traces work extremely well for um, your non-eds, basically your sharks, your skates, stuff like that. It's not the big one, it's the smaller hoodlums that we're actually using for this particular demonstration. Um, you do however catch GTs, Giant Trevally um, on them, you, albacore if you're down in the cape and you're sliding a frigate down there, yellowtail will also eat it. But yeah, in KZN, it's mainly for our shark and uh, skate species. Okay, lovely. Double look trace, okay. What we're going to do is, one's going to go through the actual nose of the fish and you always want to do it just on that. When you do it, try and get it that it actually comes out just past the eye. So if you see this part where I'm actually pointing here, that's where the tip of the hook must actually come out. So it penetrates through. So that's where it'll be sitting. The second hook will be on the opposite side, on this side of the actual bait. So if I'm going through it, it's going to sit over here. Like that. So that's basically all I'm trying to achieve when I actually do this. We'll always put in the end hook first before we put the nose hook in. Um, just in that you can get the spacing right. It just works out a lot better. Uh, I'm going to take that and I just want to cut it off over there just to get some of the flesh uh, smell going. If you cut it long ways, the longer you actually cut your actual bonnie, frigate, whatever bait it might be, the more flesh you actually start exposing a lot quicker. If you cut it straight off and it's a little cut, less bait or less uh, bait flesh is actually exposed to the surroundings. Okay. So let's just do this. First hook, and I'm just going to measure to see where it comes out, so I'm going to go in there. Okay, my first hook, I'm going to insert over here. And you stick it in as deep as you can. This is a dead bait, so you go in as deep as you can, and out, like that. Leave it like that. Take your second hook, and again, like I said, you're going to go through the chin over here. If you guys can see over there. through and out as best as I can and up the top of the actual frigate over there. Then take your first hook and actually just pull it. Like that. There we go. So now it's laying perfectly straight the way you want it to be. You can take a pin with a big head and actually insert it between the eye over there. But with these baits, generally you don't need to do anything. I'm just going to turn it around, so it's going to be easier for me to work with. You can take a cable tie and put a cable tie around there. Just quick and easy if you've got a thin one. But 99% of the time, thick latex cotton. Um, just my personal preference, because I like to tie the wire up next to it. So if it does come loose, the, the hook does get pulled out or you get a secondary bite and that on it. When you get your secondary bite, at least the hook is next to the bait. So let's just do this. And what we do is like that. And what we're trying to do is go around behind the actual bend of the hook. You can see the eyes are exposed nicely. And that's basically all we're trying to do, is just get around it. Once we've done there, we start coming around this side. And over that part, because now your cotton starts biting in, and around the back of the hook. So it keeps that hook in place the whole time. So even if it moves side to side, at least the cotton's now going to keep on pulling it back to where it should be. If you left a toothpick pin in there, if it gets pulled to the side and pulls off and over, that hook will lie like that or against the side of the actual flesh. So basically we just latex cotton it up, it'll stay nice and flat and we just work our way back a bit. 
to the end part, tie it off like that, and we can shake and bake as much as we want. It's as simple as that, guys. Small hook, small baits. Big bait, bigger hooks that you want to use. But this size uh, hoodlum is absolutely ideal for the size bait that we're looking at and for the fish that we're trying to catch. Simple as that. There's a lovely slide bait for catching most of your flatfish, GTs, as well as your sharks and skates that might be around. There we go. Enjoy. Easy to do. Easy to prepare.